Money in the Bible is an interesting thing. In fact, Jesus talks about it a lot. The coinage is actually not invented until the Persian period. So prior to that, when we read in the scriptures about a shekel, it's merely a weight of the metal. But once we start coining coins or minting coins, then there's a lot of lessons that we can learn from those, what we call faith lessons. When we excavated at Kerbet el Makader, 10 miles north of Jerusalem, we uncovered what we believed was the biblical city of Ephraim mentioned in John 11:54, that was covering the remains of Ai of Joshua 7 and 8. Within Ephraim, we found 1,322 coins. That's more than any site in Israel except Jerusalem and Masada. And as I like to say, Masada didn't really count because they took all their money with them when they went there as refugees. So the bottom line is it was a lot of money. And as we studied these coins and published these coins, we found a lot of connections with the Bible itself. And behind me are a number of coins that we excavated at Kerbet el Makader. We have another section with uh, many others on display, but you can see names that you'll recognize like Herod the Great, Pontius Pilate, Herod Agrippa I, Festus, Felix, coins from the different revolts, and this is just a sampling of what we found. Once we begin to uncover coins, and of course we have to have them cleaned and then many times restored so that they're stable, certain chemicals that we use on them to keep them from decomposing, but they tell us a great story. And it's what I like to call real people, real places, and real events. These people that are mentioned in the New Testament as rulers, every single one of them, we found his coin and we have it on display here in our museum. And so from that, we began to look at the numbers. We found 1,315 bronze coins. We found five silver coins and two gold coins. Those percentages are staggering. Two gold, five silver, 1,315 bronze. So when Peter and John told the beggar at the beautiful gate, silver and gold we don't have, but what we do have, we're going to give to you in the name of the Lord Jesus, rise up and walk. They weren't just being tight with their money. It was the truth. It was very rare to have silver and gold coins. I have a few here in my pocket that I can show you. So the difference is amazing. You can see the small bronze coin. This is what we often call a widow's mite. It's minted under Alexander Janaeus or his successors. And then next to it, we have a gold coin. You can see how it's struck off center, which is usually what happens because they're striking these by hand. And then we have a beautiful silver coin also dating to the period. So silver, gold, bronze, 1,315, two and five. Jesus told a story in Luke chapter 15 about a silver coin. In fact, there were 10 silver coins. He said there was a woman who had 10 silver coins. She lost one of those coins, so she notified the neighbors that there was a crisis. She moved the furniture. She lit lamps. In other words, it was nighttime and it couldn't wait until the next day. And she searched until she found her lost coin. And when she did, she notified all of her friends and neighbors and relatives that the crisis was over. She had found her lost coin. Now, she would not have done that for a bronze coin. A bronze coin would be equal to what we would call a penny or a nickel or a dime. I don't think you'd put on your neighborhood Facebook group that you've lost a dime and you've got a crisis. But if you lost something that was worth two weeks income like this, you certainly might do that. It would be equivalent to losing your paycheck. She had 10 of these. So if this is two weeks wages and she's got 10, that's five months income or what your financial planner tells you you should have in the bank at all times. Now the point of the parable and the point of the faith lesson is this, that we are the lost coin. We are of great value to God and when we're lost, He's searching for us. There's a sense of urgency. It can't wait until tomorrow. The Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. And that's what this coin reminds us of.